Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I am showing you how to make my clean and delicious Greek style turkey burgers with a homemade tzatziki sauce. Now, I've been making this recipe for years and I cannot believe that I haven't shared it with you here on YouTube. As far as turkey burgers go, my husband says that this is the absolute best recipe. It's his favorite. They're super easy to make. They're packed with protein and veggies, and they are absolutely perfect for this time of the year. So, uh, so the first thing I like to do is make my tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki is a Greek condiment that's made of Greek yogurt and cucumber, and it's very, very simple to make. So I start by grating half of an English cucumber on the large holes of a box grater. Now, I like to use the English cucumbers because they have a nice thin skin and they don't have any seeds in the middle, but if you can't get your hands on an English cucumber, you could use a regular cucumber. You just want to peel off some of the skin and then remove the seeds. Now, cucumbers hold a lot of water. That's why they're so refreshing. So what you want to do is transfer the grated cucumber onto a clean dish towel, and then you're just going to pull up the corners and gently squeeze out as much of the excess liquid as you can. Then I'll get that grated cucumber into a medium-sized bowl, and to that I'm going to add one cup of plain Greek yogurt. Now, you can customize this to your personal preference. You could do a non-fat yogurt, a low-fat yogurt, or a full fat yogurt. Full fat is traditional. I usually go with 2%, but I've tried them all and they all work. Then I have one clove of crushed garlic, a tablespoon of fresh chopped dill. Now fresh is ideal, but if you don't have fresh dill, you could sub in one teaspoon of dried dill. Then I have a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest. Now remember, when you are zesting your lemon, the zest lives in the oil of the skin. So we're zesting off this bright yellow skin, and as soon as you get to this white pithy area, that's when you want to stop because the pith is rather bitter. And then finally, I have one tablespoon of lemon juice from that very same lemon. I'll finish this with a fat pinch of sea salt, a little kiss of black pepper, and then I'm going to gently stir this all together and set it aside while I make our burgers. Now for the burgers, I'm gonna be starting off with one pound of organic ground turkey. Now I'm using an extra lean ground turkey, which does have the tendency to be a little bit dry once they're cooked, but with all of the additional add-ins we're gonna be adding to these burgers, you're gonna see, they actually manage to stay really moist. With that being said, you can of course choose any cut of ground turkey you prefer. If you want a little bit more fat, then choose that. Okay, so to the turkey, I'm adding a quarter cup of that plain Greek yogurt, kind of a surprise ingredient, but it really helps to keep these burgers nice and moist. And then I have two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and half of a teaspoon of black pepper. Then for a little bit more flavor and texture, I'm adding in a half a cup of finely chopped roasted peppers that I got right from a jar, a quarter cup of chopped up Kalamata olives, which are salty and buttery, and then I have a third cup of feta cheese. Now remember, whenever you're working with feta cheese, if it's available, try to buy it in a block form like I have here. This has a lot more flavor and a lot better texture than the pre-made crumbles because it doesn't need any anti-caking agents or any stabilizers. Then I'm gonna get my hands in there and gently mix this all together, just enough to get the ingredients incorporated. You don't wanna over mix the meat because then the burgers can get really dry and tough. Then what I like to do is I just gently score it right down the middle and then across the other way. This gives you like a general outline for how much meat you need for each burger so that they're fairly uniform in size. Then I just pick up one of those quarters and shape the burger into a patty just like this. And I'm gonna do that again until I have four turkey burgers. So I've got my grill nice and hot. I've got the heat to medium, medium high. And what I like to do is just wipe the grates down with a little bit of avocado oil so that nothing sticks. And then you're just gonna place the burgers right on your grill. You could also do this on an indoor grill pan if you had it, or even in a cast iron skillet if you were working indoors. 
After four or five minutes, I'm just going to get underneath those burgers and flip them over and let them go for another four to five minutes. And just as a side note, I oiled the grates, as you know, but I would actually recommend that you put a little bit of avocado oil on each side of the burger because my burgers were a little bit sticky on the grill and I would hate to see your burgers stick to the grates. So that will just be like an extra layer of protection. You will know the burgers are done because they will be opaque and cooked all the way through. You want the internal temperature of ground turkey to reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit, you definitely want your burgers cooked all the way through. So if you're not certain, you can either break one open or just use a meat thermometer. Now you could certainly serve these burgers traditionally on a bun, but my favorite way to serve them is to make a little nest out of some butter lettuce leaves. And then I lay the burger right on top of that. And then I add a nice hearty dollop of that homemade tzatziki sauce. This is such a simple and beautiful meal, and I promise you it has so much flavor. It's also fantastic for meal prep. You could make the burgers, put those in individual containers, and then top them with the tzatziki when you're ready to eat. Now you can, of course, enjoy these just the way they are, but I really love to serve them right alongside either my Italian pasta salad or my go-to Greek salad. Both of them are perfect with these turkey burgers. As always, I cannot wait for you to give this recipe a try. And if you enjoy recipes like this, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and share this video with anybody else in your life who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. A homemade tzatziki sauce. What is wrong with you? You just said- Tzatziki. You're saying tzatziki. Because there's an extra T in there. You're saying it wrong. You're silent. Tzatziki. Silent. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Fine. Un, dos, tres.